Hey there guys, I know it's been a long time since I made a last video, and I really apologize for that. I've been so busy with work and everything, but there's no excuse for that. So I wanted to make a very special video today dedicated to someone who I know everyone in the tech community respected, that's Steve Jobs. Um, as everyone knows, he did pass away, and it's very sad. So my condolences go to his uh, family and friends. But today, I'm going to be making a video talking about iOS 5.0, and uh, I'm just going to be showing you guys the new features in it, even though I did show you the ones that were in the beta. Since it's finally coming out to everyone, this is based on the uh, Gold Master release. So that means that it will be coming to everyone very shortly, if it hasn't already. Um, there also will be a link at the end of the video, or in the description, that tells you where you can download it and install it now. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy it, so let's, uh, get started. Alright guys, so here is the lock screen that we all know and love. Um, of course I did show in my last video, if you do have new notifications, they actually show up right here, which is really cool. Um, it's really nice when you, uh, just turn on the phone, or iPad, iPod, and you see all your notifications here for new email, messages, etc. But anyway, let's unlock the, uh, screen and find out what else is new. Um, as you can see, the home screen pretty much looks the same, uh, same setup as it always has been. Uh, the one new thing that I did show previously, I believe, is the notification center, which is a lot like Android. You just pull it down, and uh, it shows you what notifications you have up here. Right now, it just shows the uh, weather of your current location, stocks. As you can see, I have no new notifications, which is what I just showed you. Um, another cool feature that I'm pretty sure I showed you but not much detail because I didn't have too many friends using iOS 5 yet is messaging. So as you can see here, here's just a message I've sent with some friend that I have here. Um, you have your inbox. Of course you can send pictures, videos, which is really nice. You can choose an existing one that's already in your album or take a new one. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You can switch the camera if you have a device with uh, two cameras, which I believe only the um, the only devices that do get iMessaging are ones with two cameras. Although never mind, I'm sorry. I believe the 3GS also gets iOS 5.0. So of course you can also choose to send videos. So uh, let's go on to the next feature. Another nice feature that I want to talk to you guys about is the newsstand. Um, right now, I don't believe the App Store has been updated to have newspapers and stuff like that because if you click right here it won't take you to the store um, so maybe it hasn't been updated but you, when that has been done you'll be able to download magazines and newspapers from the app store read them here which is really nice because not many people that I know actually go and buy the newspaper because uh, really you can get it online and it's uh, usually cheaper but anyway so that's pretty cool um, the next thing I'd like to talk about is reminders uh, I did brush over this quickly in the beta video, but it looks like they actually did remove a feature that was previously talked about. Um, I am wondering if this is actually synced between your iOS devices, which would be really nice because uh, then you can just check it on your iPad, iPhone, and it's just synced right there. Um, so previously you could actually have it remind you when you left a location, which was really cool. But right now it's looking like you can only have it uh, set up for on a day and uh, I guess on a certain time. So it looks like they may have removed that or maybe it's only in the iPhone 4 or the uh, iPhone. or I'm not sure. Since I am using an iPad, I can't test it on all devices right now. But uh, it, it could be that it's just not... Um, working if you don't have a iPhone. But anyway, I'll have to get the I'll have to uh, update uh, eh, I'll have to update you guys on that later. So, the next feature I'd like to talk about is the heavy Twitter integration. Um, I did show you last time that pretty much everything you do on here is shareable with Twitter. So, uh, let's see. I'll just pick a picture that I have here, my messy um, drawer or whatever that would be called. You can just hit here, tweet, boom. You can tweet it to all your followers, which is really nice. Um, there were talks of Facebook integration, but I'm not sure if that was ever done. It does use Twitter's built-in 
uh, picture uploading feature that was recent rele eh, recently released. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, and it, it does look really nice. You can add your location and everything. It looks really cool. Um, they did a really good job with that. Um, and it also shows your GPS locations if you hit places. So that's really nice. Um, let's see here. What is something else? Oh, and of course you can have the option to install the Twitter application if you'd like. I can actually show you that in the settings. So it does have a setting right for Twitter. And uh, you can have it sync with your contacts. And as you can see, I did install it. Um, the camera. Let's talk about the camera. So of course it is like the old camera. It has the... Uh, Front and, fat, front and back facing camera has options. I did show you this previously where you can use the grid to align stuff. But anyway, this is a new feature I believe that has wasn't added previously. So let's go into that picture I just took. You can now hit edit. You can uh, magic, you can use the magic wand tool to automatically make corrections to the picture. So I believe that changes the uh, um, the brightness and contrast and everything which is really cool um, you can remove red eye if it has red eye because of the flash but of course I don't have a flash on this you can also crop the picture which is really nice um, Android did have this and it's really cool that they, they uh, added this you just hit crop at the top and boom saved which is really nice so cropping has been added I don't believe that was there before if it was I'm sorry but uh, it's really nice um, so let's see what else. Photos. Um, like I showed you this previously, there's pretty much all of this uh, stuff here. You can do pretty much everything you could in the previous one. It now has places, which I don't believe was in iOS 4.0. It may have been. If so, I apologize. Um, do do do. PC free. Uh, that is one thing that is really nice about iOS 5 that people have been wanting for quite a long time. The ability to sync without wires. That is really cool. And with iCloud, you can actually do that. Whoa. Okay. We got it now. So as you can see, you can have all of this synced and backed up to your iCloud account. I believe you get 5 gigs for free, and then you can go on and upgrade and there the price is right there um, so that's pretty nice five gigs for free pictures do not count I don't believe so if you have pictures added there if they're a certain size I don't believe they count towards your iPad or your uh, iCloud storage which is really nice um, but you can back up everything to your iCloud and then when you restore your um, I device it's actually automatically synced back which is really really cool um, it's something that um, the I devices have needed which is really nice so I'm glad that Apple finally added that so speaking about what I was just talking about with syncing wirelessly apparently if you have your iOS device charging at night or so it'll actually automatically sync to uh, iTunes which is really nice um, I believe that's pretty much all there is to talk about in the new iOS 5.0. Um, but I believe it will be coming out fairly soon. If it's already out, I apologize. <laughs> um, but it is really nice. They've done some great stuff with this, and I can't wait to see the next update. Hopefully the uh, GPS for reminders is in the iPhone, and it's not just taken out because it was a really nice feature. Um, if you guys have any questions or any specific things you want to see in iOS 5.0 uh, that I did not cover in this video, make sure to leave me a comment or send me a message, either one, I'll get them. And I will try to make a video specifically for you showing you what the feature is. Thank you for watching the video, guys. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, again, I am going to be doing videos more often now. And uh, if you check out the forms, I'll put the URL like here or something. It'll also be in the description. But uh, if you register there, we're going to be doing tech discussions. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing more <laughs> talking. Um, but make sure you also subscribe. Next week I'm planning on doing a review on my newest piece of toy, the uh, ASUS Transformer. Um, and, of course, I'm also going to be doing a review on the 
uh, Nexus Prime when that comes out. So make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, like always. And again, I apologize. Goodbye.